These two teams over the past eight years have had three close games. There's been personnel changes within both programs. Could this be the year that the ship is right for one of these teams to where they become one of the top tier teams in the uh, SWAT West Division? Hey, guess what? We're going to find out real shortly because I'm telling you right now, there are some things that I saw in this game, some positives, and there's some things that got me scratching my head like, ah, they, they getting there, but they still got a little work to do. So we're going to go ahead and give a quick recap over the game between Texas Southern and Prairie View a and It's your favorite coach back at it again, 10 toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow Leaf Sports Network. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share, comment on, on this video. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And for all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. Make sure y'all like this video, comment on these video, share this video, hit that notification bell so you get all upcoming videos if you haven't done so already. Make sure, like I said before, comment on these videos and let's get them likes up, guys. Because like I said, we're doing some great things with this YouTube algorithm. Let them know that, hey, guys, we got some presence in this piece and we're doing some phenomenal things. Hey, also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, Coach is going to go ahead and tap on in and get straight to the meat, of the, get to the meat and potatoes of this thing. Because you know what? There's a lot of questions out here about Texas Southern and what they, you know, Texas Southern and Prairie View a and Just how well are they looking this year with the new additions that they have on their squad? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. Texas Southern defensive coordinator, uh, Jeffrey Caesar, he had that defense dialed up from the at the beginning of the game, making sure that Jawan Pass was not going to get comfortable back there in that backfield, just throwing the ball up and down the field. And I'll be honest with you, the defense was able to get three, not one, not two, but three, three turnovers in the first half that would have positioned them to put some serious points on the prayer view in the position that they would have, they would have to fight back you know, they would have to fight to put points on the board to get back into the game. But you know what? It didn't end up that way. Texas Southern got their first turnover on the five-yard line of Prairie View, and they could not punch it in for seven points. They were only able to get three points out the deal. So when you have things of that nature happening where you're not able to execute fully on plays, that that tends to, you know, that, that tends to become like a Debbie Downer. It's like it's almost mental where you're sitting there thinking like, dang on, man, we right here and we can't get over the hump. It, I mean, it's just like I said, the little things, the big uglies up front. I'm going to talk about them right now. The big uglies is the line put in that work. Like I said, I'm going to show you a few things where there were some times where we got a little lazy on blocking and it, it cost you. When, when you get lazy on blocking up front, it costs you. You got to You got to dig in and get to it, man. Just like, you know, I tell my boys all the time, there's times that you're going to be in a game. It's going to be a dog fight. Heck, you can be down. Like I said before, you can be down 10 points. It's going to be a dog fight. It depends on you how bad you're willing to dig in and go get it for the team to possibly get that win that you evening. Give Texas Southern their credit. Defensive front for Texas Southern, that trench militia up there, man, that thing was so Turn everything bad. off. Briefly, like I said, back-to-back -back time, if you was not able to put any points on the board, they would move the ball a little bit, turn it over. Move the ball a little bit, turn it over. And I'm just like, man, what, what's going on here? But again, Texas Southern could not execute. But uh, Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown played a good game for him to be a redshirt freshman, true freshman this year. Like I said, he got a couple of games in during the spring. Now it's, it's full bore. He got the full season for him to go ahead and get himself together. He got a he he took a few shots in this game that I think he should have, you know, just went ahead threw the ball away. But he was looking to try to make a play, and sometimes looking to try to make a play can be costly. I can kind of see the frustration in his face. Like I said, the line, the the, uh, the the big uglies up front, they got to get it together. They got to make sure that they protect him. But he he did throw the ball uh, 41 times, completing 20 for 181 yards with one touchdown. Now, the rushing game was something that was abysmal. They had like 93 yards rushing total combined for the team. That's everybody that touched the ball for the offensive side, for the uh, Texas Southern Tigers offense they had 93 total yards. Texas Southern left so many points out there on the field based on those turnovers. I mean, you're looking at, you got three points on the initial turnover, kicking the field goal for, off the five-yard line. And then you turn, you, then you come back, you get two additional turnovers in which you left anywhere from six to 14 points on the field that would have had you up six, what, 17? 17 was it anywhere from nine to 17 or nothing before... Prairie View was even able to put points on the board. Juan Pass got comfortable in that pocket. Man, it was lights out. When I said he was putting that thing on a on a rope up and down the field, it was crazy. Now, some of the passes that he threw, the little flare passes that he threw, I think he had a little too much heat on him. 
He got to calm down a little bit with those passes. But anything that's going vertical, oh, my goodness. This this man was putting it, putting it spot on receivers. I'm sure they are very happy. Jalen Howard, who had 136 yards on four receptions. And Antonio Mullins had 10 receptions for 131 yards. Between those two receivers, you got almost 270 Steven, yards. Man, a hey. Hey, if you didn't get a chance to see that game, that was one game that you wanted to check out. But I'm going to be honest with you. Prairie View went up. Prairie View, after Texas Southern kicked that initial field goal, Prairie, Prairie View put up 27 unanswered points before Texas Southern was able to score again. You hear me? 27 unanswered points. Now, Texas Southern missed opportunities on moving those chains, running the ball. You had missed opportunities on, on pass completions. There were so many like little things that, that was just – glaring to the point where you're just sitting there like, come on, guys, y'all got to find a way to fix it. So I'm thinking once they get them, they get a couple more games underneath their belt, I believe they'll be fine. Juwan Pass, he threw the ball. Uh, twenty was it? Juwan Pass threw the ball 34 times, completing 25 for 354, three touchdowns, and one interception. And this, let me give you a glaring stat that no one paid any, that no one is going to pay any attention to. They punted once. They punt. Prairie View only punted, punted one time. Texas Southern can find a way to clean up the, the penalties, the missed blocks, um, and making sure that Jalen Brown get that ball down the field in a manner which he needs to because a lot of his throws were off. Um, I mean, they, they were wide or overthrown. And, you know, it, it just it just got to that point where, you know, you could tell he was getting frustrated because Prairie View was putting some hats on him. I mean, and like I said, they had him tap dancing back there in that back po in that, in that uh, pocket where he wasn't really feeling comfortable. So I'm just thinking, once they get that under control, I think uh, Texas Southern is going to be fine. I said before, they brought in a lot of pieces to help bolster that roster to get them out, for them to get out there and compete. This game should have been a lot closer than what the score shows if Texas Southern would have executed on those turnovers, putting points on them. 93 yards that Texas Southern was able to run for combined with all of the rushers that they had, that's not going to work in any game that they play in this season, especially when it comes to time that they got to control the clock and get things moving. And not also another another glaring issue was Brown wanted to go to Keelan, Keelan Davis just about every time he was in. Uh, whenever he was in trouble, Keelan Davis was his safety blanket for him to throw the ball to. I guess, um, you know, all of the wonderful things that you've heard about him being um, with Patrick Mahomes, I'm like, I get it, you know, but you got to trust the receivers. Receivers are open. Get it out there to them and let them know, hey, listen, you're not afraid to go to those receivers. But I'm waiting to see how things turn out for both of these teams next week as far as we're cleaning up some of the things that they left out there, some of the things that needed to be fixed from having that first game of the season. I think everything's going to be fine for both of these teams. They're, they'll find a way to get it together. But until next time, if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like these videos. Comment on these videos. Share these videos. And not to mention, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, be the one and lead.